This is an excerpt of a power-up webinar entitled Using Photoshop for Video. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to retouch video using Photoshop. And here's a really good example of something that we can do in Photoshop that we can't do easily anywhere else. We've got a piece of video of a snowboarder, this is courtesy of Standard Films, doing a death-defying jump. I certainly do not want to be the one doing it. And we've got a really good picture of the photographer. <sighs> this is exactly like the woman's dress, except I don't have one frame, I've got multiple frames. Well, this is both really easy to fix in Photoshop, it's just time consuming because you've got to adjust it for each frame. First, I'm going to set a, a boundary around which I don't want to have any of the other adjustments. I'm going to just adjust inside the selection area, select the clone tool because we know how that works, and I always look for an edge, hold the option key down, and click where there's an edge because I can then line that edge up. I can find where that edge is, line that edge up, and I can make the shadow disappear. Now, if you look really, really closely, you're going to say, Larry, you know, that looks like it's doctored. Yeah, all right, fine. But the eye never looks at that which is missing. Your eye is not going to look at this frame and say, what's not there? Your eye is going to look at the frame and say, oh, cool, snowboarder. Click the right pointing arrow. There it is again. There's our edge. Find the edge, line it up so we can see what's going on. Click, hold, and drag. Done. Now, the reason that we set the border in is notice at the bottom, I didn't set it properly, so I'm going to show you a good example. Notice that because the border was not set properly, my cleaning extended into that black border, that black part at the bottom. Okay, that's why I set the border. Let's go to the next frame and set it correctly. This time we'll set the marquee, drag it, and make sure that it doesn't go into the black so that now as I, as I clean this up, Let's just select it here, Option, go to the Clone Tool, Option, and find a nice border right there. Add that in. Notice that now, although the mouse goes well outside the selected area, the border restricts it so that I don't go into that blanking, that black area. Now, doing this is not hard. It just takes time to get every frame cleaned up. And because I don't want to take too much time here, I'm going to show you the final results. So here's the first, here's the first frame, second frame, third frame, and you're never. Oops, it would help if <laughs> it was so perfect because uh, I was zoomed in. There, you can see that I screwed up. I need to have that fixed. So we'll click here, and there, and there. So you'll never, your eye will never notice the shadow that's missing, though it will notice that black has been fixed. That's why the border is so important. So let's double click here and take a look at the actual movie. This is the cleaned up version. And go back to the beginning. Your eye never looks down. Oh, I wonder if there was a shadow in the low left corner. Wrong. Your eye is totally focused on looking at the guy doing the snowboard. And because everything is changing, there's no way that I could do any kind of a composite inside Final Cut and have it look clean here. Uh, Final Cut doesn't have that level of precise control, nor does Premiere for that matter. This is why we use Photoshop. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at how to use Photoshop for video. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 128. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 700 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.